Rowdy Yates, High Plains Biochar. We get a lot of questions about the installing a Rocket Char 301, and I wanted to show you guys our setup here at our facility. So as you can see, there's a little shed building here. We've got an eight inch stove pipe, and you notice that there's no smoke coming out of that, no black buildup on anything, just nice and shiny. So that's where the Rocket Char machine is. This pipe you see here, that's our fuel feed auger. You know, walk you in here. So this is our fuel feed bin right here where the wood chips are loaded. And then we have a secondary stock tank above this where we keep more wood chips. Then we have a hole in the bottom where we drop it into the, uh, to the main fuel bin. Now, around here, this is where the machine is located inside this shed. You can see in here right now it's running nice and hot. I think we're running at about 1,350 degrees. So you see right now we are at 1,308. Set point is 1,323. This will kind of show you Basically, this plots our temperatures and shows you how close we're able to control the temperature to the set point, which is normally within about 20 or 30 degrees. We've got our fuel feed augers and biochar augers on about three. We're running 12 RPM on our quench pump. So right now we're running just those pine wood chips that you saw. You can see them falling in the machine there. So you can see right there, we just reached our set temperature so the fuel stops feeding. That's how we control the temperature. Inside here, you can see all the wood gas igniting. And all this heat we're actually utilizing here. We have a liquid heat exchanger here up on top. So we're utilizing all the heat. And this is the biochar that we're making. This is a really nice, light, fluffy, beautiful biochar. You can see it's cooked really evenly. This is the Rocket Char 301 makes a really high quality biochar. If you guys are interested in learning more, check us out at High Plains Biochar.